Hello everyone, welcome to the Cloud Network. In this video, I am going to show you how to install your Android SDK and Windows 7 64 bits. You can also install this Android SDK in Windows 7 32 bit, Windows 8, Windows 8.1, and also the latest uh, Windows game that is Windows 10. Also, you can install the same method, the same procedure you need to follow that I am going to show you. Uh, the links you will also you can find below to my video in the description box. So let us begin. Now, first of all, I am going to show you where you can download this Android SDK and uh, Java also. So for that one, begin you need to open your browser, any browser, and you need to uh, type the links or you can type these uh, Google on dev AndroidDeveloper.com. After typing these or also this link, you can find on the description box also just click on this link and you will become directly on the download page here we you don't need to register before downloading so you can download directly or you can see the access the latest one is 5.0 Lillipop is there platform supported so just click on this for the windows support you can see for download option is there if you want other option means if you click on this other download option it will, it will become for the other support like linux mac os also supported so for the click for windows you need to click here so first of all before the downloading you need to add terms uh, condition here uh, there so you need to accept these terms and conditions then after that you need to click again download so after that should become screen this is the size you can see c8 uh, 117 is the mb the size which actually is the download size is there for which i have already downloaded this one so i'm going to cancel this one and after that if you need to download java also for this java either you can download jdk or grk also both you can uh, download and install so here for this jdk purpose you can download here for gre also you can download it. just download and install this one and if you want to see how to install this you can just go to this my channel at ecloudnet in the youtube you will be fine how to install this java jdk under the windows uh, also so for that let us begin this download installation is there which uh, this one is the download setup is there i am going to download first of all uh, before downloading installing i am going to show you about this java whether is in my system is uh, install is already installed is there not for that one you need to press windows r so continuously you need to press windows r after that you need to pi uh, type here cmd you need to press enter here so after typing cmd press enter you need to type here java and give a space hyphen version you need to type so after that you need to press enter here so if you get the output like 1.8.0 uh, uh, something like version you will get means it is confirmed that this ja in my system java has been installed if it is do if you get uh, output like something uh, do you will if it like uh, here don't uh, when you type java hyphen version if you get something wrong uh, something bad uh, feature me get if you get means so there you can confirm that in your, in your system java is not installed so pref um, before installing android sdk you need to install java first of all so here you can see latest version is 1.8 showing uh, currently which i have already downloaded and installed so let us i am going to show you the path also <coughs> java so click on the folder go to c and you need to go to program files and you need to go to java so here you can see, you can see grek uh, it's a 8 latest uh, updated version is for the grez and jdk you need to click on the folder and you see the location is there for this jdk which uh, downloaded i have installed so now just click on the setup icon where you have uh, saved the download file after that you need to run the file You need to click on next and if you want to, to check the box uh, android sdk plus android virtual device you want performance <coughs> if you want or not you can see the space size is there space should be 3.8 gb should be free space should be in your system is there uh, where you want to install this uh, android sdk so you should remember at least you need to have 4 gb of free space click on continue after that you need to accept the license agreement ok and then so after clicking on agreement uh, here is your important uh, things is there android studio lo installation location will be at least 500 is space should be required free and for android sdk installation 3.gb installation free space should be required 
so here after that you can see option this so you should uh, remember this location both where you are uh, installing this location so please remember the both the location if you want to change the location you can change the location by default i am not changing the location click next the value must be between 512 mb and 5 gb so recommend 2 gb okay we have detailed the system can run android emulator in as related performance mode so please select the maximum amount of ram so that means it's showing recommended at least you need to select a 2 gb ram for this running so between 512 mb to 5 gb you can select your ram so if you select so note is setting aside large memory reservation may cause other programs to run slowly when using 32 bit android emulator that means showing that if you run the setup in 32 bits it will be come with a slowly uh, like large memory utilization will be uh, used so you should be uh, give a ram very good here i'm giving 2 gb is enough click on next so if you want do not want to create a shortcut you can check the box in that one it's going to be installed under the startup menu folder this one so click on install now you can click here extract folder to see the file which are is downloading and extracting so extracting android sdk percentage is coming up to 100 percent so you can see the size is showing around uh, 2 gb around it's going to be uh, unpacking these packages now we need to complete it. this one we need to click on next that the installation has been completed so check this box to start this android studio so click on finish and it's going to be starting the android studio so if you have already installed android studio means you can import your uh, setting for the custom location uh, if you have already means just click on this option to import your settings so this is a fresh installation so i don't uh, have a previously version of android studio so i do not want to import any settings just click ok so click on show details checking and downloading the android sdk version uh, revision 24.1.2 uh, let it take some more time here so it still is uh, downloading the android google api internal su support supported for this 64-bit uh, uh, version so still we need to wait here now that has been uh, installation has been successfully completed you need to click on finish after that we can start the quick project so for the recent project we need to click on existing start import to check out for the uh, uh, out project so talks uh, how to configure settings here is there click on new year to start this checkup for this android so you can give application name is nothing but you need to give here here like i am going to give uh, so you can give a name also by changing my application sets of you can give any name uh, company domain name also you can give it like i am giving my domain www.cloudnetwork.in okay the package name will become like that and the location also you can see it's going to saving if you want to change the location you need to browse the location you can change uh, under the application it's going to uh, save click on next uh, you need to select which platform factors you require to run it's android as cream 4.3 or 3 or kitkat jelly bean i'm using latest one android flip uh, lillipop lower api target device by targeting okay you can ignore this one uh, if you want tv where classes also you can select click on next and so you can need to select the mobile mobile uh, blank also you can select blank with uh, activity fragment so i am going to select blank blank activity only click on next if you want to go back to you can click on previously and you can go back uh, you can give your activity name like this is my first android okay and then you can change the layout title name also you can see and then you need to click on so just uh, avoid the spaces in between the name 
in the place of activity name and you need to click on finish so now you need to wait so building my application with the name of project if you want to check for updates latest works you can click here update and you can see android studio lab this scroll you will find last one you see for check actors updates so click ok checkbox to allow access once again you need to click on allow access okay uh, if you want to show the tips you can keep uh, just close the box and uh, so finally you can see has a hello world application icon is there mobile app is there running so this one is you can see the layout is there uh, i get it there uh, when you scroll down you will be find everything text field is there uh, according to your container uh, you can add here on the app how to create you will be get on the next video i am going to show you about this uh, how to create app inside this uh, mobile application uh, on the android uh, updated 5.0 lenovo so if you have any problem if you get any problem you can comment below to my video so friends thank you for watching at the clock next video